Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings. I pray that all is well and everyone is in the best of health and spirits. It is your sister, your aromatherapist, author, and wellness coach, Denise Renee Muhammad. And I'm coming on this afternoon to share 10 benefits of aromatherapy with you. Um, for those, this is especially for those um, who I've recently connected with that may have, may have never used essential oils or do not know what aromatherapy is, this live stream is for you. So just sit back and listen to the smooth jazz until I get started. All right. And we'll get started in just a moment. And thank you for tuning in. I greatly appreciate you. Greatly, greatly appreciate you trying to share this stream. So once I do that, I'll get started. Sister Malika, thank you for tuning in. Queen, I see you. <laughs> Praise be to Allah. All right. All right, so this live stream um, is for, particularly for those that may have never used aromatherapy or do not know what essential oils are. I'm going to um, give 10 benefits of uh, incorporating aromatherapy into your everyday life. And some of you may wonder, well, what is aromatherapy? And aromatherapy, simply put, it's the use of aromatic therapeutic essential oils for therapeutic and health purposes to benefit your mind, your body, and your spirit. And that's what I love about aromatherapy is that it, um, it works with the, your entire being, your mind, your body, and your spirit. And we know that everything starts in the mind. And when you inhale, an essential oil, it goes directly through your olfactory system, through your nose. Your sense of smell is the only sense that is, the, is linked directly to your brain. So once you inhale those molecules, those uh, that aromatic scent of the essential oils is definitely going to go directly to your limbic system, the seat of your emotions. So it can help us to deal with emotions as well and to rise above those emotions into the thinking of God. All right, so the first benefit of aromatherapy, one of the benefits is so many benefits, but one of the benefits is that it re helps to relieve stress. When you inhale certain essential oils, it helps to relieve um any stress, especially mental, well, everything is mental, but when you're thinking about something that can create stress in your mind, you can inhale an essential oil like lavender or eucalyptus, and it immediately will help to take your mind off of your stress. It will calm your central nervous system and help you to think more clearly. Hold on one second, let me turn the music off. All right. And it will help you to um, get that, relieve that stress, uh, especially inhaling lavender and uh, eucalyptus. It immediately lowers your co cortisol hormone, the cortisol levels to help you um, to relieve that stress. So the first benefit is it helps to relieve stress. All right. And the second benefit, it acts as an antidepressant. Certain essential oils, when inhaled or implied topically, it helps to, um, it acts as an antidepressant. And some of those oils include, again, lavender, geranium, uh, orange essential oil. The citrus oils definitely help to brighten your mood. I call it liquid sunshine. I call it liquids, especially lemon oils, liquid sunshine. It helps to uplift your mood and to relieve those, uh, those moments of depression. You cannot 
inhale lemon or orange and still be sad, mad, angry, or depressed. <laughs> so it helps with situational depression. And right now we're definitely in a situation with this pandemic. So um, this is just some easy ways that you can incorporate aromatherapy. And again, it can be inhaled. You can put the essential oils in a diffuser. You can apply them topically. And when you apply them topically, you, your body becomes a human diffuser because once you apply it topically with a carrier oil and it uh, gets saturated into your skin and into your, your body, your body is going to emit those, uh, those aromatic molecules and people are gonna say, wow, you smell good. I get that all the time. Sister, what's, what oil is that you wearing? <laughs> Because my body is diffusing, so I'm I'm carrying my atmosphere wherever I go. Walaikum well, salam. Can you share where you purchase your essential oils? Yes, ma'am. I will share that um, at the end, uh, towards the end of the video. Um, another thing, number three, it increases. It can increase your energy levels. And peppermint is one essential oil that I love to apply to my, the soles of my feet in the morning is just so invigorating. And peppermint is a, an adaptogenic oil, meaning it helps to, uh, it adapts to what your body needs. So if you're needing energy, it helps you to feel energized. If you apply it at night when you're needing sleep, it will help to soothe you right to sleep. Okay, so peppermint is good for for that. Also, the citrus oils are good for energy as well. And again, you can diffuse them, apply them topically. Uh, the citrus oils can also be ingested uh, with water. Peppermint, you can make a peppermint tea uh, with the peppermint oil. There's so many uses, so many ways to incorporate these oils into your everyday life. All right, and number four, it helps to speed up healing. Um, there are many essential oils that can increase the rate of healing through the body. And that's uh, what another thing that I love about it is that uh, aromatherapy and the essential oils help to facilitate the healing of your body. And one oil that is great um, is frankincense. Frankincense, lavender is another wound healer. Um, there are so many, too many to name, but those are just a few. And if you want some more specific ones, you can definitely uh, inbox me about that. Ginger oil is good for reducing swelling. Uh, if you experience swelling in your feet or ankles, poor circulation, ginger is a good one for that also. All right, another benefit reduces headaches. If you suffer with migraines, headaches, you can apply uh, certain essential oils such as peppermint to your temples, massage it in, really good, apply to the back of your neck. Also, lavender is also good for headaches as well. Um, so they can help you relieve those headaches. You can put it in a diffuser. If you don't want to apply it topically, put it in a diffuser and just stand over it a little bit and just inhale and exhale and just breathe. A lot of times we're not breathing, we're not hydrated and the uh, essential oils incorporated along with your regular lifestyle, whatever else you do to maintain your health. Do we definitely have to stay hydrated, get that exercise? You know, these are some things that help as well with our overall health and wellness. And definitely when you can get outside and breathe um, and get some sunlight, sunlight is key. So we definitely, we are, we say we're people of the sun, but then, but then don't go outside and get any sunlight. So definitely incorporate that. Also, number five, regulates. You love peppermint. Yes, me too. <laughs> uh, number five, it regulates your sleep. 
If you suffer with insomnia, a great oil to have for that is cedar wood. Cedar wood essential oil, uh, it helps to reset. Once you start using it, it will help to reset your, uh, your body's sleep pattern. So you'll start to regularly want to go to sleep at a, at a decent hour. Um, so cedar wood is good for that. And cedar wood is one of the oils that doesn't have to be diluted with the carrier oil. You can just apply it to the soles of your feet or the back of your neck or also diffuse it before it's time to go to bed and you will be sleeping like a baby in no time and you'll wake up feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. That's another thing when you use uh, over the counter sleep aids or you know sometimes these medicines that are for sleep and then you wake up feeling groggy and heavy and uh, uh, so when you incorporate the essential oils, it helps you to wake up feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. You get that healing sleep and sleep is very important to our healing process. If you're working on something, um, trying to heal from something, sleep definitely. And even if you're not trying to heal, just getting some good night's sleep is definitely key to feeling good and to uh, extend in our life. We definitely need that sleep. Um, number six is it strengthens our immune system. And that's been the talk uh, lately with this COVID-19. You definitely want to do things to boost your immune system. Aromatherapy can help with that as well, just from inhaling it, diffusing it, applying it topically. Lemon oil is one that I definitely uh, I definitely stress because it helps to stimulate your white blood cells. You can get the lemon oil and apply it to your water in the morning and just drink it or apply it to the soles of your feet at night. And um, it helps to stimulate the production of your white blood cells, which is our first line of defense. All right, and the next thing it helps with is relieving pain. Uh, many essential oils are pain relievers. Um, they have pain relieving properties in them. So um, it definitely helps with relieving pain. Um, next up, improves digestion. A good uh, essential oil for digestive issues is peppermint. Also, anise. Anise is an essential oil. Um, it's spelled A-N-I-S-E, and it is excellent for the digestive system. And you can make a tea out of that along with the peppermint. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, and that's pretty much it. There are many other, uh, many other benefits, but I just wanted to go over those 10 for you. Um, and I'll be briefly recap for those that just joined us. Um, I was given the benefits of aromatherapy and how you can easily incorporate it into your everyday life to facilitate your health and healing. And aromatherapy basically is just the, air, the use of essential oils for therapeutic purposes. And it helps with your body, your mind, and your spirit. And um, the benefits is stress relieving. It helps to relieve stress. It, they act as an antidepressant, certain essential oils. Um, manages, uh, I'm sorry, increases your energy levels. Speeds up healing. It helps with digestive issues. Um, reduces headaches and is a pain reliever. So these are also, it helps to regulate your sleep cycle. Once you start using uh, like cedar wood, I mentioned earlier, if you suffer with insomnia, it will actually reset your sleep cycle. So you'll get on a normal pattern of sleep and pretty soon you wouldn't even need to use it for sleep. So those are some of the benefits. And Sister Carol, you asked um, about where to purchase the oils. I have a website, it's bit.ly slash Denise R. Oils. 
and I'll type it in the comments once the live stream is over. You can go to my website. I do offer these therapeutic grade essential oils. Um, we also have a premium starter kit where you would get 12 essential oils and a diffuser, some samples and literature that will um, explain how to use the oils. And of course, you'll have me if you ever need uh, have any questions about what what essential oils can be used for what I definitely help with that. All right. So with that being said, I pray that you all enjoy the rest of your day. And I also do consultations uh, and you can contact me in regards to that and we can customize a blend for you for your specific need as well. You're welcome, sis. Praise be to Allah. All right, you all take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace and blessings to you.